on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here just going to shed my thoughts on a theory that has been making the rounds starting a couple days ago the idea of allison strode being the one to kill michael myers take down the boogeyman not Lori strode or actually her name's allison nelson she's not even a strode allison nelson um to take down michael myers not Lori strode in halloween ends my idea in my honest opinion the way Halloween 2018 portrayed Allison and the way she is being built up as like Laurie Strode 2.0. She's just like her grandmother. She's in a situation where she's lost some friends at the hand of the boogeyman. She lost a parent, something Laura didn't go through in the 1978 original movie. She lost her father at the hands of Michael Myers. She is, she had a relationship issue in the 2018 movie, the same way how Laurie had similar relationship issues in the 1978 film. And like the similarities between the two, between the two characters from granddaughter to grandmother, it's, it's, it's made evident in in the uh, 2018 movie, the similarities and the parallels they're trying to make between the two characters, almost as if they're trying to build us up to, yes, a final showdown between not Laurie Strode and Michael Myers. Laurie Strode is probably gonna, probably going to end up at some point in Halloween Kills or even Halloween Ends, because I believe she will make it to Halloween Ends. At some point, she's gonna let her emotions get the better of her, and Jamie Lee Curtis will once again die at the hands of Michael Myers for, I think that would be, well, she, that would be her second time dying at the hands of Michael Myers, but I think that's the character's third time dying in the franchise with, with Laurie Stroll's portrayal of the character. Anyway, I think that would be her third time being announced as dead or something. But I see that playing out perfectly fine. I do see that as where they're trying to get us to a point where we're passing the torch and the story and the narrative and the baggage to carry all onto Allison Stroll for her to continue the Stroll legacy, for her to be the one to finally take down the boogeyman. Because in Halloween Kills, I do see Karen Stroll falling victim to Michael Myers, which would then make Lori, and that's going to put Lori even in an even more emotional, emotional uh, disadvantage because she's going to let her emotions get the get the better of her when it comes now time for Halloween ends. Something will happen. She'll she'll fail to notice her own mistakes. Michael will kill her, and then it'll just be down to Allison and Michael. And Michael and Allison will have some type of big final showdown, whether that be at the Myers house or whether that be at the at the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital or somewhere in the town of Haddonfield. It'll come down to Allison and Michael. Allison will kill the boogeyman once and for all. She'll get revenge for her grandmother, for her mother, for the friends she lost for all the hardships that she just had to go go through during this Halloween night, similar to how her grandmother overcame those obstacles in the original film back in 1978. Even though Michael got away at the end, he, he didn't get away. He We come to find out, of course, he didn't get away now that we have the 2018 movie. What happened was he got arrested and put back in the sanitarium. So similar to how her grandmother avoided disaster in the 1978 original, Karen or Allison rather, Allison Strode is gonna go through the same same things because Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends seem to be taking place all in the same night as the 2018 movie. So we'll be left down to a next generation of a Strode woman uh, led by Allison. She'll be left alone to take down the boogeyman once for all, get payback for the demise of her demise of her grandmother, demise of her mother, demise of her father because at this point she's lost everything. And that honestly. That scenario sounds a lot better to me when you think about it compared to just having Lori and Michael go at it one final time and then they all die in a blaze of glory. I would I wouldn't mind that ending, but I also see more I see more potential in an ending with Allison and Michael versus Lori and Michael because with Allison and Michael, now you're putting now what you've done throughout these past two movies is you you've built up of a a credible final girl in the character of Allison, Allison Nelson, um, since she has had all this, all this hardship in the span of 24 hours, she's lost her mother, she's lost her father, she's lost her grandmother, she's lost a couple of friends, she's been cheated on, uh, deceived by her boyfriend, who I, I believe he will end up dying in Halloween Kills. She has just had so much hardship to face within the last 24 hours. And she's always sympathized with the character of Lori Strode, her grandmother. She seems to be more of the sympathetic one when it comes to that PTSD that Lori suffers from, while Karen seems to just instantly want to shut it down. Uh, 
So what I'm basically just getting at is the character of Allison Strode, with all of that in mind and what I what I see the character going through come Halloween ends and then where she'll come Halloween kills and then where that'll all leave us at for Halloween ends. Having it come down to Michael and Allison does seem like the more logical conclusion to this narrative because you're putting you're you're building up somebody who the fans can get behind, somebody who the fans can sympathize with, someone who the fans will identify with in in response to finally being able to and want to see them actually overcome Michael Myers, want to see them take down the boogeyman once and for all, put an end to this tale, get justice for Lori, get justice for all of these other people that she loved that she lost at the hands of Michael. That narrative, that scenario, that ending for Halloween ends sounds like a better outcome to me versus it just being Michael and Lori, Michael and Lori. Because what I also would not be a big fan of is let's say if Michael, if it does come down to Michael and Lori, do we even have Allison there at this point? What does, what was the significance of Allison's character? I feel like the significance of Allison's character should be that she's here to she's here to carry on the legacy of of her grandmother of her mother of all of these things that she was raised up to be taught for her by her grandmother only to find out um at at this young of an age that her grandmother was not crazy her grandmother actually did have have every right to prepare her mother the way that she prepared her when she was little uh it just sounds like a better narrative and a better full circle ending versus having Lori and Michael and Allison possibly dying. Because I've seen I've seen a lot of people speculate that Allison might die. Killing off the character of Allison, I don't think that's the best choice of choice of action to take. You can kill off her mother. You've already killed off her father, but killing off Allison and then just leaving us with Karen and Lori, I don't see. I don't see the potential in that as much as I see it with leaving a young, young defenseless girl against a formidable serial killer who has taken down everything she's, she's ever loved, everything she's ever known, everything she was raised up on, taking her friends, t taking her life essentially from her. She's in the same situation as her grandmother was this, as, as her grandmother tried to always prepare her and her, uh, and her mother for so now she's in a position where she can finally re fully understand and sympathize to the fullest fullest capacity with Lori Strode at that point because now you see what she's talking about because now you're in her exact shoes you've lost everything you have no friends you have no one here to save you you're it's just you and this serial killer and you need to take him out I feel like that's a better ending compared to Michael and Lori We've seen it in Halloween H2O. We've seen it open in Halloween Resurrection. We've seen these two battle in the original film. We saw them battle briefly in the 2018 movie, and we're probably gonna see them battle in Halloween Kills and of course Halloween Ends. That of course is gonna lead to one of them. Logically, when you're having so many encounters with each other, at some point during the next two movies, one of you needs to take the other one out. And of course, this being the narrative of Michael Myers being the boogeyman, I see Lori Strode letting her emotions get the better of her should let's say Karen Strode actually fall victim to Michael she's gonna she's gonna get she's gonna let her emotions get the better of her and she'll go after Michael she'll make some mishaps she'll end up dying yet again at the hands of Michael Myers uh, the first time per this continuity but the third time per the whole franchise and then we'll be left with just Allison and Michael to have a final showdown in the Myers house or some other part of town that would be just very emotional very heartfelt very symbolic very just very that's more full circle than just having Lori and Michael again I know a lot of people feel that the character played by Andy Matichak doesn't have that much worth but that's the whole point i feel like that's what the whole point of this narrative is going to be we're bridging off into passing the torch to allison strode and for her to be the one to take down the boogeyman i feel like that's what we'll end up getting i do like this theory the theory came of course from screen rants i do still monitor screen rants since i used to write for them uh but let me know what you guys think about this theory down in the comment section below about allison strode or allison nelson rather killing michael myers if you haven't already make sure you should Make, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.